My name is Steve Hollins. I've been brewing for over 25 years. My wife and I live in El Dorado, Wisconsin in the country, and we decided to build the brew house to look like an old milk barn. On the outside, it looks like an old shed. On the inside, it's a very functional brew house, and I love it. You don't get into this hobby to make cheap beer. You get into this hobby because you love the taste of beer and you can make it the way you like it. I love the process as much as I love drinking the beer. I just started with plastic containers and glass carboy fermenters. And then as I started to realize that I was doing a lot more, I started to upgrade my equipment and I had time to get into all grain brewing. We decided on the Bruja equipment because we got one vessel, one conical vessel that does the mashing and the fermenting and it saves space as well as it's easy to clean, easy to sanitize, and you don't have so many hoses and pumping and, and opportunities for contamination. So we start out with two uh, large fermenters. They worked really well so that after that, I would think within a year I ordered two more fermenters so we had four fermenters to go. And I like to do a one week primary, and two weeks of uh, secondary fermentation. And so it gives me a week to turn it around and get it back and make another batch. So I can make one batch of beer every week. I like drinking great craft beer. So I wanted to make sure that the beer I was going to be making was going to be uh, up to my standard and everybody else was going to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed it. Once people start drinking good beer, they like good beer and, and this equipment, the Bruja equipment has helped me make better beer. Probably about a dozen people uh, come over on Thirsty Thursdays after work and we make beer together. Well, I make beer and they sit around and sample the beer that I've made before. It's a great event that people love to come to. Different people love different parts of the brew making, you know, and, and everybody likes the end product. It's very satisfying for me that people love this room because we did put a lot of details in it and we had a lot of help doing it. One of our neighbors down the road, his grandfather, he used to have a wood silo made out of uh, redwood. So one wall is built out of this old silo. The ceiling, the roof, the old barn boards are from a neighbor's farm. Stainless steel milk pipe that we took out of a dairy barn to run the water to the fermenters. We got this steel that we found and brought home. We've got these milk can lights that we put into here. We've got a speakeasy door in our entry door. We've got a corn crib out there that was donated from another neighbor. And hops grow around the outside in a fire pit in the middle. I, I did all those extra things because I just think brewing for me is a hobby and I want really good equipment. I want a really nice place to brew in. And it, it's important. It's the same thing with the beer I make. It's about details at the end of the day. It's the details that add up. And so I think the environment that you're working in and the equipment you're working with all adds to, to your final product. Brewing is something that I love to do and I knew that this equipment was gonna be able to help me make a better beer. And I wanna be proud of what I do.